So, hi everyone. So, last time we saw how to, uh, we tried to install the copilot from GitHub uh, by logging in to GitHub and installing it on our PyCharm. But it seems we forgot one thing. Uh, in order to uh, use uh, copilot from GitHub, you have to re sign up uh, for a 60 day trial at least. For, for Git for the copilot. So let's just do it. I'm on the GitHub site. Confirm your payment details. It'll be built only for merge. Uh, first name. Let's fill everything up here. Uh, I'll just blur everything. I'll just do it on a different uh, screen here. Okay. Um, just for you. I'm just. Uh, you'll have to wait. I'm just. Uh, filling everything up that's good okay so I'll sign up with PayPal which is for me the most secure way and they promised a 60 day free plan so let's do it you can cancel at any time Save and continue. Once I saved it, I'll show you again. Okay, so I've got an account sent up. I can submit everything. And so, look your preferences. Yeah, to block this, mention public code. Uh, if not, for product improvements, I don't want it at right now. Especially because I'm working in a company and don't have. Okay, so now we can install it. Now I'm ready to install. So let's go finally go back to our, our PyCharm and let's have a look. Tools GitHub Copilot. Let's log in. Are we okay to log in? Let's just wait a second. Let's give us. I think we already authenticated everything. <laughs> now it's still again. No. Let's log in again. Okay, so this is tiresome already. I'll just close PyCharm again. Fresh start. Let's go to tools. GitHub Copilot. Let's just log in. It said log out, so I'm attached. What did I miss here? Log into GitHub. Already logged in. Let's just try. Ooh, your first GitHub Copilot suggestion. So I just, I just pressed Alt and Backspace on my keyboard. You can press Tab to enter it, and Alt with um, square barracks, barricades on the right and stuff to cycle through alternative this just okay let's i got it let's do another option this will just count all the numbers in the range which is okay let's just have it i want tab but i want to oh this will work okay let's see it's working and i got Oh, for I in range 1 to 11. What happened here? Print I. We, let's just run it. Okay. Count to 10. Let's see. It's working. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's try another suggestion. Ooh. Not working as I wanted it to, so there's no other suggestion. Let's try something. Uh, yeah. uh, print all uh, all primer uh, numbers up to something. Let's give it. Uh, up to number as a 
Yeah, no. <laughs> Just wrote up the number. Let's see. Let's see, I got the magic. For a number in range two until up to number. If is prime, I will print the number. And that's it. I'm not sure why it gives this. Let's see if we can get another suggestion. So we will try. This is a better one. If my number is prime number, it will give me also the number itself because it counts one more. These are the two suggestions. That's it. Okay, so let's try and run this. I didn't do tab, so I'll just tab it. Is prime. Create a function. And let's go. <laughs> now let's do the magic itself. Yeah, that seems about right. Let's see if there's another option now. That's it. We accepted this. Now we'll count all the prime numbers until, let's say, 50. And see the magic. Yeah, 2, 3, 5, 11, 13 looks all correct to me. 41, it's okay, 43, 47. Yeah, this is a success for us. So thank you all for watching. Successfully, we got this thing. Co uh, copilot to work. Let's finish up with like a complex example. Let's uh, define a function. Uh, send mail, <laughs> which will do have recipients. Uh, yeah, will be recipients will be a string, let's do typing, and uh, let's say the body, also a string, yeah, and it even used typing for me, yeah, and that's it, let's uh, do a very simple one without any attachment, okay, let's have another options, I'm scrolling it, do something. Oh, let's just have a, oh, it's just writing this to me. Let's let it have its way and write the code itself. Oh, and why did I close this? No, didn't want this to happen. Never mind the return code for now. We're okay. Thanks. Let's remove this code it doesn't do anything <laughs> so it doesn't always work but i want to try another thing i heard the copilot had we can accept solution we can write something we want to it okay so these are the suggestions I don't want to accept anything. These are all the... <laughs> it's not working for some reason, but it's uh, nice to have. So thank you all for watching. That's it for today. Maybe next video if you like this. Uh, so if you like it, please like and subscribe. And if you see you really like it, so I'll make another video about uh, really using the Copilot in uh, new and amazing uh, ways. Okay, thank you everyone. Good